Hi, good morning friends. So today I'm going to be doing a garden tour um, and just showing around how everything is going. I'm kind of in the middle of a big project right now so everything is a little bit hectic but I will share with you uh, what we have going on. I'm also going to be um, doing some maintenance to the garden, adding some fertilizer, things of that nature. So enjoy. So you can see a lot of bug damage on this kale. Um, we don't really eat kale that much anyway, so it's probably not that bad. But there's something really gross living in there and dropping. And then, um, I think this is... Oh yeah, it looks like a broccoli maybe. Um, something's eating that too. This one is just completely demolished. Which is fine because it's kind of too late for broccoli. I'll be able to plant it again in a couple of weeks. But at least this way, the bugs have something to focus on and hopefully stay away from the things that I want them to stay away from. Like my beans, which for the most part look okay, but you can see something is nibbling a little bit. But these are doing not too bad. I do need some sort of support, especially now that the walls have been taken off of this bed. Um, so I'll probably make some sort of grid support for this and get them in their proper space. Everything is kind of a wreck right now because we're in the middle of moving the beds, but it's a big effort and it requires a lot of work. So I need to, sorry, I don't know if you can see that very well, but I need to get this stuff staked up and propped up, get those tomatoes propped up, get everything propped up. This is now growing out of the side. Probably some animal has came and started digging on it on the edge of the bed. So now some roots are exposed. So I really have to come and solve <laughs> these problems. Um, this one has got a good amount of beans though. This weird cucumber. Or, I don't know, it's too smooth now. I don't know. Strange. Um... This is a corn, but it's probably not getting enough sun to do anything. Um, looks just like the grass. You can hardly notice a difference. Um, I'll come and weed this. I, I did do, uh, like, up to the line right here, into the bed. And you can see some of it's already growing back. But I'll come and weed this garden. Um, this little shade garden that we've got going on here. It's been really dry, so everything's not looking the best. But we will figure it out. Over here in this bed, I've gotten two um, squash off of this plant here, but also not too much going on as far as new squash. It looks like, I don't know if they're not getting pollinated or if they just need some more nutrients, but you can see those two didn't produce anything. So we'll see. And then we have everything, like I said, it's kind of just trying to do its best. It all, ow, so prickly. It all wanted to fall out of the bed uh, once the sides were gone, so I really want to get some more of these cages from the Dollar Tree. I could not find them this year, but I really just like how they keep the plant propped up. And you can see out of all of them that were planted at the same time, that one in that little cage is doing the best. So I think moving forward, I'm going to put all of my zucchini and squash into those little cages if I can find them. Um, at a dollar each, that's a pretty good deal. So I did get one zucchini off of here. It wasn't the best, it was very hard. It didn't develop more after being very tiny. So yeah, I don't know. That's about all we have going on back here. I'll be uploading a video about this transition soon. Um, once we actually complete it, you can see we're in the middle. Um, you can see the, all of that from the bottom of the other bed. This is everything that was in this bed in the backyard. This is the third bed close to the fence. Um, some of it hasn't done so well with the transition. This is about three more hours of sun that it's used to getting. And we've had one rain in the last week and a half, I think. And I was out here watering them by hand um, a lot to try and keep them growing. Uh, looks like the tomatoes are doing the best. I've got four tomatoes one on each of the corners and maybe one in the middle 
some cucumbers, some squash, some other random things. Most of it is still holding on, which is awesome. But you can see that they are not doing so well. And that one, there, I think they're both pretty much gone. Although there is some green still left in that stem. So I don't know. We might get a leaf or two popping out. This soil is the bottom of the other bed. Not the complete bottom because we put that over there because I could notice that the quality was starting to go down. Um, which makes sense because it was literally just sticks when I put it in the bed um, last year. So I need to top this off with some really good compost and soil to help build this soil layer up a little bit better. And then add some more um, fertilizer to give them some nutrients and hopefully get them off to a good start being in this space with three hours of sun. So this is in our front yard. And again, I'll have a video coming up about that later, but we're going to walk over here just to the right. And we have this sunflower, which there's actually a butterfly on it right now, which I don't know. You probably can't get that. Well, the bee scared him away. That might actually be a moth. Either way, we've got that sunflower that's doing pretty good. It's got four blooms on it right now. This little tomato that I just wanted to put in the ground and see what happened. We actually have a tomato on it, so that's exciting. I did plant a sunflower from seed here a while after I planted these ones. It's not doing so well. Here in the ground and over there in the ground, I planted something, um, some sort of vining crop. Don't really know what it was, but also not doing that well. That's okay. Over here, things are doing pretty good. Lots of tomatoes. Um, two tomato plants. They're going crazy. They're taking a while to really get going. Um, I haven't had any tomatoes ripen but oh I see an orange one I don't know if I can get it to focus for you right there so we're getting close um, this thing is just loaded with tomatoes although I feel like that's too small to be ripening but this thing is absolutely loaded with tomatoes from top to bottom There's some there there there's a whole bunch there a whole bunch down here. I mean, every single one of these branches and multiple places on the branches just loaded with tomatoes. And you can see, still blooming. So, hopefully soon we'll get some good stuff out of there. Our little baby Jack B. Little Pumpkin is getting orange. That's pretty exciting. Let's see when it'll be time to pick it. Hopefully, last year um, we had one and somebody... A bug or something came and ate into it. So we'll see if we get a bug free pumpkin or if we get a bug shared pumpkin. It's okay, we're not going to eat them, we're just using those little ones for decoration. Um, pepper plants right there, not really doing anything. They still, they have grown some since I put them in this bed, so that's good. I know I got this started later, but hopefully it will make some progress. Something has bit me on my leg. I now have a little rash from being out here. So the leaves on this pumpkin plant are struggling a little bit, but as you get out that way, not too bad. And there was a tiny pumpkin and it's still going. Oh, it's all the way right through there now. Um, sorry, I heard like a bird or something flying all crazy like. That looks like that was maybe going to be a pumpkin right there. There was another little, I don't see it now, but. Anyway. I planted. Oh, it's still here. I forget what it was, probably cucumber or something like that. And I planted tomato. Uh, we just kind of let these weeds grow up. I like seeing what flowers come out of them. Anyway, that's the garden tour for today. Um, I feel like I'm putting in a lot of work at this point, but not getting a lot of return. I've only picked three vegetables, um, which feels a lot later. Last year, I feel like I was getting a lot more stuff a lot earlier, so I don't know. This is exciting, though. This is really, really exciting still growing. All the other ones that were on here have basically died, so see if we get any more. 
And this vine is just growing, growing, growing. All the way up to the top. So hopefully we get something off of that soon too. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this garden tour. I hope you're getting some food out of your garden. And got some cool videos coming up. I'm going to be making some seed packets. Sharing the transition of the raised beds to the front yard. And a few other things. So... Please hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified.